Okay, so I seen this defense a very long time ago, back when I was coaching way out in Burlington, Ontario. Uh, I cannot remember the team. I think it was either Brampton, some some Toronto team, anyways. That essentially they ran a four-one, and I was talking to the coach after the game, and he he actually said yes, they do run a four-one, and he explained me to me how they ran, and I wrote it down. And I thought I would share it with you guys because it's just so weird and mind blowing. So it's more, more or less, four is guarding this whole area. One is guarding this area. Two is guarding this area. Three is guarding this area. Five is guarding this whole area. Which now I know you, your mind is blown. Because five is usually not an athletic player, and he has to run this whole area. When five is guarding the ball way out here, three and five are going to be double teaming in that corner. Four is then going to be popping down and guarding the key. It's a secondary zone for him. Weird, eh? Now, same thing obviously on that side. And three would be popping down. If, for example, the ball is in the post, this is going to blow your mind again. Five is going to be on the ball. Three is going to be moving down to the post. Four is going to be guarding this area. And one is going to be guarding down here, while two is guarding the top of the key. Totally weird, eh? If, for example, the ball is in the high post, it's single coverage, and five is guarding wherever the uh, wherever there's a guy in the post. If there's two players in the post, three will pop down and guard the other post. This is a very awkward defense, but very interesting, and actually works. I thought I would show it with you guys. I hope you enjoy.